Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and I hope you're all well. So for today's video I decided to do it on this look here, which is a look that I've been wearing quite a lot recently. Just a really bright lip and quite simple makeup, but just my usual foundation routine. Um, yeah, so if you want to learn how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So starting out with a nice bare face, I want to prime my skin ready for foundation. So I'm just using this one here from MAC and rubbing it into my skin with my fingertips. I find that this one is really great for smoothing out the skin's texture and helping avoid any excess oil later on in the day. Priming my eyelids today with the NARS Pro Prime Eyeshadow Base and I prefer to apply this before my foundation. Today I will be mixing these two foundations here to get my perfect shade and I'm using a Real Techniques contour brush to buff that into the skin and this has been my probably my go-to brush lately for liquid foundation. I just love how small it is and it just gives a beautiful finish to the face. For concealer today I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser, whatever it's called, you know the one. Um, love this product, I was quite surprised how much I haven't used this on my channel because I use it so much on a daily basis and it's just perfect for under the eyes and also highlighting the face. So if you live in New Zealand, and unless you've been living under a rock, you will know that Topshop opened in Auckland recently, and I was pretty much only excited for the beauty counter, and I went in and purchased this product here, it's a cream highlighter in the shade Gleam, and it's just a beautiful champagne shade, and I'm so happy I went and brought it. And my top is also from Topshop, in case you're wondering. So this is what I'm using on my brows today, the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown and the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. These have been my go-to products lately, I haven't put them down, especially love the L'Oreal um, Brow Set product, it's amazing. Bronzer today I'm using the Soap and Glory Solar Powder and as you can see it is a much loved product for me. I don't actually think I have used this on my channel yet either but it's another product that I use on a daily basis and I'm just applying that to the cheekbones, the temples and around the jawline just to give the face some dimension and a little bit of colour. So just to set the cream highlighter in place and intensify it just a little bit more, I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. For a really natural blush that's not going to interfere with the bright lips too much, I chose the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Exposed. And this is another one of my favourites for everyday use, it's just such an easy colour to wear. For the eyes today I'll be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and only using about three shades, starting out with the matte ivory shade, just blending that all over the lids and as you can see, because my eyes are quite hooded, I do get a little bit of a crease from the foundation. 
um, in the socket of my eye so that's just going to help blend out that and prevent the eyes from further creasing throughout the day and then I'm taking this sort of warm um, caramel sort of shade just through the crease and just softly diffusing that. And here you can see I'm just taking the same colour on a smaller brush and just blending that into the lower lash line all the way across. For the lid colour I took the champagne pink and the gold and mixed them together on a flat shader brush and just packed that all over the lid. eyes are almost done. Next I just applied a brown eyeliner to my top and lower waterline. This one is called Teddy from MAC. And then to finish off completely you just want to apply lots and lots of coats of your favourite mascara top and bottom. So now for the star of the show which is the lips. I'm using MAC's lipstick called Morange and this is just a beautiful neon sort of bright orange that is an amplified finish so it's highly highly pigmented and very creamy so very comfortable to wear enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up it means the world to me thanks so much for watching again and i shall see you in my next video